What country banned a game for featuring graffiti? What game had its human protagonist change to robots to meet content standards? These are 10 games and the weird censorship they went through around the world. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 10. World of Warcraft. China has some rather broad censorship rules when it comes to death in the occult. In World of Warcraft, several changes had to be made to keep it in line with Chinese content standards. Blood was turned from red to black, undead enemies like skeletons were edited to appear a little bit less dead, and piles of bones were changed into sandbags. In fact, basically all references to bones in the games were changed, even icons in the skill tree. Number 9. Dragon Ball Fusions Dragon Ball has a weird relationship with censorship in North America. Despite entire cities and planets exploding in seconds, they refuse to admit anyone is actually killed. This was taken to extremes in Dragon Ball Fusions for the 3DS, in which Trunks, the sword-wielding hero from the future, even had his signature sword taken away. He still had a weapon though. They replaced every sword in the game with a stick. Which is weird, because the game was rated T for teen. Number 8. Half-Life. Germany has some pretty strict rules about violence in video games, so in Half-Life, when Gordon Freeman shoots his enemies, they don't die. They just sit on the ground, shaking their heads like they've been scolded by a school teacher. It took 20 years for Germany to remove the game from their censorship list, and the uncensored version of Half-Life is now available for sale in Germany for the first time. Number 7. Mark Echoes Getting Up Contents Under Pressure. The government in Australia didn't just censor this game, they banned the sale of the game entirely for promoting crime. For reference, this is a game about spraying graffiti in a totalitarian future New York. Graffiti is the crime they're worried about. It's just a western, crappier version of Jet Set Radio. Which, by the way, did not get banned in Australia. Number 6. Football Manager 2005. This is a soccer game. What could have possibly gotten under China's skin about a soccer game? It's not like there's a skeleton team. China banned Football Manager 2005 because it acknowledges Tibet, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. China's official position is that these territories all belong to China, even though they are recognized by the UN as sovereign nations. But China gets very upset when anyone acknowledges the independence, or even existence of those places. Including a video game. Number 5. Corona Trigger. The Super Nintendo era in America is rife with examples of alcohol being ham-fistedly removed from games. One of the more infamous is Toma's Pop. Towards the end of the game, the adventurer Toma goes looking for treasure, hands you his drink, and tells you to pour one out for him if he doesn't make it back even though it's obviously alcohol and nobody has ever asked a friend to pour out a Pepsi on their grave. The American version of the game says get Toma's Pop. It's Saki in the Japanese version, of course. Number four. Fire Emblem Fates. This is one of the more baffling examples of Nintendo censorship because nobody can really figure out why it was censored. One of the core features of Fire Emblem is building relationships through conversations. The first conversation between Sazu and Baruka, two assassins working for their respective lords, gets into some pretty heavy stuff. Both talk about the weight that constant killing has on their minds and how they struggle to live with the moral aftermath, at least in the Japanese version. The North American version has that conversation removed and replaced with nothing. It just has them trading ellipses back and forth. They couldn't add anything. Number three. The Ice Climbers, Nana and Popo, wear parkas and carry hammers. You likely know them from Super Smash Bros. because Ice Climbers is not that good. But there's another reason to remember Ice Climbers. See, the original game is about climbing up to the top of a mountain, bashing enemies along the way with the aforementioned hammers. And that would be fine, except that in the Japanese version of the game, some of those enemies are seals. And clubbing seals is bad. So in North America, the seals were replaced with yetis. And that's fine, because you can't be cruel to animals that don't exist. Number 2. Super Mario RPG. The strange thing here isn't that it was censored, it's that it existed in the first place. The Japanese version of Super Mario RPG, Bowser's victory pose shows him sticking one arm up and another across. That's basically the equivalent of a middle finger. Obviously they took this out for American audience, that's not really considered okay. Incidentally, they more recently had the exact same problem with the Inkling Girl in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and they had to patch that out. Number 1. The Contra series has all kinds of censorship in different regions for maximum confusion. In Europe, the original Contra is known as Probotector, and the entire game is different. All the human characters are replaced with robots, including the protagonist. 
The whole game's theme is shifted to sci-fi to avoid the whole, you know, war thing. But then it gets weird. Contra continued to be Pro Protector in Europe, but when the sequel, Super Contra, came out in North America, it was renamed Super C to avoid association with the Iran-Contra scandal. But then Contra 3, The Alien Wars, was released with the original Contra game, except in Europe it was Super Pro Protector, The Alien Rebels, because they can't use war in the title. So guys, what's the weirdest example of video game censorship that you've seen? Well, let us know in the comment section down below, pin our favorite to the top. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!